Hi guys, welcome to Soul Searching. Um, I'm here, I'm gonna do a soul search. <laughs> Looking for paranormal places to investigate. Now, I'm at Webster University. I had that opportunity to come here today because my son is a student here and he needed a ride. I was a student here back in, let's see, 1985 to 1989. And when I was a student here, there were two um, ghost stories. <laughs> so, and the first one I want to explore, and I would definitely already do an investigation, but um, the university doesn't have paranormal investigators come in as far as I know. Although, if this video got popular enough, maybe they'd let us to investigate here. The story is in 1982, but, um, three years before I came became a student here, and this story still is going on today. I've spoken with my son and other students, and they still hear about this story at the Loretta Hilton Theater here on the Webster University campus. It's the Repertory Theater. And when I was a student here, I wasn't in the theater department, but I knew several, in fact, my best friend was a theater student. Anyhow, um, the story goes that in 1982, an electrician named David, I won't mention his last name, but you could probably Google and find all this out. He was assisting students with lighting because here on the university, um, the students, you know, they do the costumes, they do productions, they... Um, build the scenery, they do all the stage design, the lighting. So he supposedly was helping the students with the lighting and he started feeling ill. So he said, hey look, I'm gonna go back here and supposedly is right by the electrician's box, the big box, lay down and take a nap. Well, he died, unfortunately. I really don't know what happened. I don't know, I mean, there's several stories, heart attack, you know. But anyhow, the students claim he's still here. And in fact, a dean was quoted as saying he believed that um, David was still here. Now, he's a benevolent ghost, so there's nothing evil here. But students claim that, you know, he still helps with the lighting. And there are three students, and these are documented, their accounts, that they claim that he helped them he kept them from falling off the catwalk. Um, these students claim they were about to fall and someone either grabbed their shoulder and pulled them back or grabbed onto their belt and pulled them back. So, like I said too, I knew some theater students when I was a student here and students do investigate. They have, you know, done the Ouija board. They've um, tried seances, you know, I mean... 18, 22 year old kids, you know, the ghost story, and, um, you know, they're going to investigate. Now, I'm going to, you know, kind of, I can definitely show you the outside of the building. I don't know if they're going to let me walk in with the camera. There's like a big, I've been here for productions and, you know, I've seen things, but they don't allow cameras in when they, I know when there's like a play going on or a production in a performance, um, they'll confiscate your camera. So I'm going to try and see though if I can at least walk through the big old entry hall. And I don't know, maybe I'll pick up an EVP, but I, they're not going to let me bring a spirit box or anything in there with me. Now I did say there were two places, because also when I was a student here, right down the street, down Big Ben, um, there's a pretty famous haunted house there. It's been um, written about in a couple of books and it's a private residence so we're probably just going to be able to do a drive-by but this house supposedly is haunted by many things. Um, one of them being a bear that roams and I'll go more into that but supposedly roams the yard of this house. So anyway um, I guess we'll see if they'll let me, you know, come in this building. I can definitely get the outside. So, here, let me turn this around. And that's a new building. I think that's the library now. Well, new to me because it wasn't here 
when I was a student here. But okay, I gotta. I'm in my car. I gotta grab my keys. Hope this isn't too. I'm bad at the camera if you guys haven't noticed, but you, you hang in there with me, I guess because you're interested in these places just as much as I am. So we can at least get a look at the outside of the theater. And by the way, this area in St. Louis, it's actually in South St. Louis County, it's called Webster Groves. And there's lots of haunted stories because there's so many historic buildings. So actually those are dorms right there. That's the main part, or the original part. So here's the front of the theater. Those are dorms over there. Those are new, too, since I was here. So. Just kind of panning a little bit for you. There's an old building up that way, too. It used to be the old music school when I was in here. I wasn't a music student either, but I took music appreciation just so I could have a class in that building. So we're going to walk to the front of the theater. Maybe, maybe not. They'll let us in. If it's even open, it probably is because, you know, students work here and they sell tickets. There's a ticket office. Who's like? Well, I haven't been in here in a long time. Looks kind of dark. <laughs> Are you in here, David? Doors locked. Oh, this side is it. Wow. I guess those, there's the lighting. Catwalks. There's one. Can't believe I'm in here all alone. That's my footsteps, by the way. Is David in here? I heard that you helped the students with lighting from falls. If you're here, can you make your presence known?
Wow, this place is just fabulous. Can you say anything? Can you talk into this camera? Hmm. I'm gonna go walk up over there. I gotta watch my step though. It's kind of dark in here. Can you touch me on the shoulder? Like you did those students? I don't have a belt on. Can you say the word light? I heard that you were like a hero now, helping the students out. Do you like it here? Do you like helping the students? What happened that day when you felt sick? Is there anything you want to say to us? My name's Shannon. And actually, this is a memory. And about, I think it was maybe like 89, 90, not long after I graduated. I sat, I believe, Right about here. Ooh, I just thought I saw something up here. It's not, and it's the light board. Could have swore I saw something just kind of walk across there. Is that you, David? All right, back to my personal memory. It was about probably 1990-ish. Before I went off to law school. I guess you guys didn't know that, but um, I attended the, because um, it used to be the Opera Theater of St. Louis, I attended this with my mom, Madam Butterfly, and it was awesome. If you've never seen the opera Madam Butterfly, consider it. And my mom is now passed too, so that's why this is kind of a memory for me. I'm going to go up here because I could have sworn I was like a shadow walk by in my peripheral. Huh. Are you here, David? Is there anyone else here? Did you walk by here? It'd be awesome if there's an EVP on this. So, now this is the main part of the theater. There is a lower level theater, but I know there's like a lot of students down there. So we're not going to go there. It's a smaller theater. I would love to do an overnight investigation here. So, if you guys make this video popular enough, maybe Webster University would let us do such a thing. Okay, well, I think I'm going to go take you to that house. I think it's called the Jim House, because the guy lived there, he wasn't the guy who built it, but he was. The guy who lived there and owned that bear. So it became famous because of the ghost bear. One more pan. If you show yourself, David, we'd love to see you. 
And if there's anything you want to say to us, this is your chance. Thank you for helping those students. Thank you for being here. Okay. I'm going to turn this off now. And I'll see you when we go check out the ghost bear. And plus, there's, when I get there, I'll explain more. There's more stuff that goes on in this house. All right. See you at the ghost house. Ghost bear house. Bye. Hi, I'm back. I decided to take a little detour coming out of the theater, which is right here. And I wanted to show you that music building that I took a music appreciation. I was a political science major, and I took a music appreciation class just so I could scope out this building. <laughs> so, and my class was actually on the third floor in the attic part. See that up there? And I used to bring, it wasn't, well back in those days, it wasn't a digital recorder. I think the 90s is when digital recorders came out. But I used to bring my little recorder because they had those little cassette tape things. And, um, you know, because students did that, have to record the class and I never caught an EVP. Although I tried. <laughs> so. But, um, I don't know. I never heard any haunted stories. But it, before Webster University bought it, it was a private residence. It's beautiful inside. Now, um, from what I understand, it's like university music offices for, like, professors and administration. Because they built a new music building. Which I think that's it. Here's the theater. I believe. That's it right there. And I think that's our new science building. This place has really grown since I was here. But this is still here. This one of, was my favorite. <laughs> Although climbing them steps, I was in a lot better physical condition back then in college. But, um all the way up to the third floor and it was something but check it out this is the back of the building and they still give music performances in there okay we're almost back to where I started which, here's the theater again. Sorry if I took that too fast. And I'm just going to head back to the car. And we're going to go drive by that house. Because that's the other part. I always heard haunted stories about. Always wanted to investigate. Going back to my youth here when I was like 18 to 22. And um, I don't know. Maybe I'll get an opportunity. All right. See you at the gym house. Okay, there it is. It's like maybe a quarter of a mile, totally in walking distance of the university. Now, um, I think it was built in 1895. I have to check my notes on that. But and the story goes that the guy, um, not the guy who built it, but the guy who lived here from like here. Let me get my notes. I'm sure I have them somewhere. Here, I'll leave the camera on here in case we see a ghost bear in the yard. Um, built in 1895. Do I still have the camera on there? And when Henry Jim bought it in 1906, he lived here to 1904. And apparently he did rail car business with the circus. And that's how he acquired this bear that the neighbors all say they see. And um, 
they see it roaming the property now other things that are seen is a woman in a black dress a white dress and there's also a child spirit supposedly um, it goes up and down the stairs of course that's on the inside now the place was up for sale not too long ago so it's got new owners I think from 2017 but the owners that owned it you know from the 1970s until 2017 claimed that furniture got moved um, stuff got rearranged like in the drawers they constantly heard footsteps um, and the lady who lived here she claimed that it would um, it, she'd be in bed at night and it, she felt like the covers were being tucked in and if she, when she uh, would get up it would push her back down now that goes back to that theory um, and there's a name for it a demon who pretends to be a child so uh, what is it ashe or something i'll have to look that up but if you know i mean if you're getting pushed around and stuff like that maybe it's not a child i don't know i just like to think that children they cross you know that they don't have um the, the desire to fight leaving so i don't know but i don't think we're gonna see the ghost bear Anyway, this place is pretty famous. It was written about in the 70s by the same guy who also wrote a book, not the, the Amityville Horror book, but um, he's written some famous books. And this he featured in Gothic Ghost. And then it was again, that was in 72. And then it was featured again in another pretty famous book, Spirits of St. Louis, in 1999. So anyway, I'd love to investigate this place. I don't know if owners would be wanting to do that. So anyway, um, I can't just sit here forever. People are going to start wondering. Maybe um, have someone come check me out. But I'm going to drive by. And I can't park on the other side of the street. There's a new parking sign. So here, I rolled down my window because my windows are dirty. We keep having snow and rain and all kinds of freezing rain and crappy weather and um, I just haven't been to the car wash so I'm going to drive by and maybe get a frontal view of the place and I noticed too that the neighbor's house is for sale so there it is another dream investigation and there's the yard. See any ghost bears? <laughs> Alright. Well, anyway, that's today on our soul search. Where we'd like to investigate and get an idea of these gorgeous homes, too. You know there's got to be more ghosts around here somewhere. <laughs> so, um, Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this. I really got more out of that theater than I thought I ever would. And I'll talk to you guys later, but now I got to go talk to you later. Bye.